Welcome back to another cook episode of Alvin's Kitchen! Okay, so what we're gonna do today, we're gonna do something that is really special to me because every time I cook this or I make this wine, I do remember my grandmother. And this is actually champurado. We're gonna, we're gonna put a twist on it because we're gonna do Nutella champurado with strawberry, right? Sounds very enticing. Usually it's a breakfast food in the Philippines. And we're also gonna do a twist with that because what is usually the best partner of sweets? It's cheese, right? So we're gonna do dynamite roll. So with that, you know, without me, it already tastes like a little bit spicy but cheesy. Well, not too spicy because I don't like super spicy, but it has a spiciness in it. And a cheese, of course, and meat because I love meat. We can't finish anything without meat, right? So anyways, so what I did, um, I cooked my sticky rice over here already on my rice cooker because I don't want to cook it manually. So while we're, do while we're waiting for that, I'm going to do already my dynamite roll. So all you have to do is very easy. You just have to cut the pepper into half, put the mozzarella cheese, put the ham or whatever meat you want and then roll it with your egg roll. Okay. I have all my dynamite roll wrapped. What we're gonna do is we're gonna heat our pan, put some oil and deep fry our spring rolls are dynamite spring rolls. Make sure that your, your oil is really hot, okay? I actually don't like this because I don't like frying, you know me, I'm scared. But we're gonna put it down one by one and slowly. And once it's really hot, put it on medium heat so it's not gonna be burned. Because if you put it all together and Oh my gosh, and there's no space. They're gonna turn, I don't know, dull or not that good. I don't know that term, like, it's not good. Look at that, it's golden brown. Once it's done and golden brown, we're gonna drain it. Don't use paper towel, just use the drying rack so the um, dynamo roll will not absorb a lot of oil, okay? So now we are done frying. I am so happy because our dynamite roll came out really good and fresh, but we're still not gonna taste it. We're gonna do it later. So next thing we're gonna do is the Nutella strawberry champurado. And you, have you seen this? This is so awesome, this Dutch oven. It was given to me as a present for Christmas by my aunt and my uncle. Um, I love it. I really love it so much. It's really heavy and very durable. I always wanna have this Dutch oven. So if any one of you guys want to donate anything to me for my kitchen, I'm actually a Goodwill or a Salvation Army. But of course, I'm not gonna argue if you want to give me some something from the table. But anyways, so yes, I love this. We're gonna start now. Come over here. So what we'll do is we'll actually melt the dark chocolate. We're gonna put the dark chocolate with the milk and we're gonna put some Nutella, a lot of Nutella because I love Nutella. That's why it's called Nutella Champurado with strawberry. The reason why I put dark chocolate and the dark chocolate I put here is 100% um, dark chocolate with unsweetened because the Nutella is already sweet and I don't want it to be super sweet now. I'll add more milk in this one. I use almond milk. You guys can use um, evaporated milk. In the Philippines, we usually use evaporated milk and it's really good. But just because I have lactose intolerance, I have been using almond milk. So stir it gently and slowly. And you have to do it all the time because you want to make sure the consistency of the chocolate is really good. It's very uh, liquidy and you don't see those like little rocky chocolate on the side. Yeah, it's gonna make sure that it's very consistent. Next we're gonna do is we're gonna pour in 
our sticky rice. See, it's really sticky. So buy the sticky rice, okay? Don't buy the um, the jasmine or like any rice. Just buy sticky rice. Well, it's up to you. You can use jasmine if you want. I mean, any kinds of rice. There's no rule to that. But the sticky rice, the more you get wet, the more sticky it becomes. Let's put it there for a second. That mix it. Actually, this is a, a breakfast food. I think so. This is a breakfast food in the Philippines. And sometimes we eat it, we eat it as a dessert. So it's kind of weird, right? But yeah, that's how we do it. And I love it. Oh, this is coming really, really good. And it's not very hard. It's very easy to cook. Alright, let's set it aside. I'm gonna close this because it's still gonna cook anyways. Since I'm putting a twist in it, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roast some oatmeal and put it as a topping. Alright, so we're done. We're on the most exciting part, which is like, let's taste it. Okay, let's do this. But of course, we wanna do like a beautiful presentation. I don't know if it's gonna be really beautiful, but let's see. Then, it's so hot. So excited about this. Chocolate, chocolate Nutella, Champorado with strawberry. Ah. See the, the toast that I did for the oatmeal, we're gonna put it on the top. Oh my god, it's still hot. Ow, hot, burning. So how did it become a strawberry? Because I have strawberries in here that I got from Giant. They're buy one, get one free. But you know, you have to be careful. Some of them are actually rotten. And then in, in a box, there's probably like 20 strawberries, but only 10 of them probably are like eat, uh, edible. So we cut it. We cut our strawberries like in the middle. Like that. Oh, it's pretty. And then we have our strawberry syrup. You can do condensed milk, it's up to you. Usually we use condensed milk in the Philippines, but I like, I want to try this one. Strawberry syrup. It's just still there. All right, so here's my strawberry champarado and the dynamite roll. All right, let's taste it. But first, let's cheers. Actually, the perfect combination for this one is actually red wine. So, if you guys have red wine, try it. Let me try this. Mmm. Love it. I love the cheese. And uh, hot pepper inside. Love it. Let me try my chocolate. Put some strawberry in it. It's so hot. It is so good. Oh my god, I love it. It's gonna change your life. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching again another cook episode of Alvin's Kitchen. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Facebook. It's Alvin's Kitchen. Um, follow me on Instagram, it's iHeartAlvin's Kitchen and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Alvin's Kitchen. Alright, thank you so much. Love you! Mwah.